Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back. Welcome newcomers to the channel. I have 10 knives that you can get on Amazon. I'm going to run through them all really quick like, and you can tell me which one is your favorite. Some of these have like up to 50% off. It's a bunch of deals. We're talking knives of the week for Amazon. This is a petrified fish, one of their new releases. Comes with all kinds of cool accoutrement. Check it out. This is the petrified fish rogue. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its rogueness. This one comes, you can get it in green, red, or white g -mascus, just like this, but in different colors. It does have a little bit of texture. You can't really see the texture. You can just barely feel it. It's, it's pretty smooth overall. It does have a lanyard hole. It has a deep carry clip, and I like this. It doesn't have any mushrooms growing in the shade, baby. No screws sticking out, so it's easy in and out of the pocket. Now, your lip down here, your bill is a little low profile, so if you have some really thick g it could snag on there. That could be a thing, might not be a thing. Does have a matching backspacer, which looks very nice, very, very nice. This does also have a captive pivot and ceramic cage ball bearings. That's what I'm talking about. And if you look up here, it has just one big jimp. <laughs> and by the way, I'm still getting over a cold, so I don't have full voice back yet, but that's all right. We'll get through it. It doesn't have very good jimping on the top there, but it doesn't stop me from deploying the knife very well or very difficultly at all. Are you ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. Check that out. Look at that blade. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And check this out. This is 154 CM blade steel, baby. One of my favorite blade steels. And I like this blade shape. Very nice looking satin. And you do have some jimping up top here, the micro jimping. And this is the jimping I like. It's very grabby. It grabs your hand. And you all know the size of my hand, right? Four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And this one, has really good ergos. Giving it the B squeeze, I don't have any hot spots, and man, that jimping does exactly what I like. It's all grab, but it's not aggressive. It doesn't hurt your finger at all. This is gonna be a very nice everyday carry knife. The pass through to disengage it is, it is adequate. It works very well. I don't have to dig my finger in there. You can see here, it works very nicely. I don't have to dig. I like it when I don't have to dig. It has good lockup. And this particular one has good centering. It's a very nice knife. I like the weight of it. It's 7.91 inches long. So it's almost eight inches long. And your blade is 3.4 inches of 154 CM blade steel. So you can see here that, man, it just flows in the hand. The index finger locks you in. And this is going to be a really good one. And then your action on this one is drop shutty. I mean, Petrified Fish, they do such a great job with their action, their ergos, the captive pivot, ceramic bearings. This is a very, very good one. Next up, this one is very much like one we had recently on the channel. This is the X-Took SX604. We had the 603 on the channel very recently. This bad boy is also inset into the liners with flat screws, no mushrooms growing in the shade, and you have plenty of room to get into your pocket, in and out of your pocket, nothing to snag. So that's a very nice thing. Now, one thing about that pocket clip is this pocket clip is not reversible. So that could be a nitpick for you. Maybe, maybe not. It does have a big spot for a lanyard. This is a button lock. And up here, you can see we do have some jipping for the flipper. It's not very aggressive, but it does work. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Check that out. This is a very nice looking blade. This is 14C 28 in, baby. And a lot of these knives have really good blade steels. See right there, 14C. This is a nice, I really do like this blade shape. This is my kind of blade shape. It's tall enough to give you some good slice factor. It's not thick behind the edge. Has that really nice looking swedge up top. It's not exactly a splinter getter. You do have some strength up there at the spine. Now this one in particular, Using that button lock to deploy it or to disengage it works very well. It's nice and strong. I get no play left or right, up or down, so that's always a major plus. And then is this one centered? Yes, it is centered. Boy, it is. They You talk about blade to handle ratio. They've got it as long as it possibly can be. The thumb studs work great on this knife. It has a good, has good blade retention. It doesn't really have a detent, but it works very, very well. I like it. I like the way it feels on my hand. It's comfortable. You can kind of feel these edges right along here 
where they're 90 degree-ish. They did a big chamfer. It's just that this part right here is a little squarish, kind of reminds you that you have a uh, handle in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that where handles go? But I can't, I can't complain. For the price point for this bad boy, it is a great value. It doesn't really have a sharpening tool. You can see right there, your plunge grind ends right there before the heel of the knife. So that may or may not be a concern for you. Probably not. And this one also has the micarta backspacer. And you can get these in G10 or micarta. This knife comes in just under seven and a half inches long and it has a 3.2 inch blade. The X-Took SX604. Now I know I'm still a little raspy and I'm still a little nasally, but, oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, what is this? What is this monstrosity? I have, hey, this video has a whole mixture from knives this big all the way up to this big, maybe even bigger than this one. This is, by the way, this is a Kydex sheath. It's got the good clip, has the good, good clip on it. And check this out. Yeah, look at this bad boy. Now that is a beast. This is the EF-134. It has DC-53 blade steel. It's 10.3 inches long. Your cutting length is five inches. You can get this in the stonewashed or the not so stonewashed, but look at this. It is just a big, mean chonker of a knife. It weighs 12 ounces. This thing, look at, look at the thickness. <laughs> it is so thick, oh my goodness. And the handle, oh yeah, it, it is so comfy. I'll have what he's having. Yeah, this is good stuff. It does lock my hand into place. You can see right here and right here. Oh my goodness. If you wanna go and do some chopping, if you want a fun, more budget style or more budget friendly knife, this is gonna, oh, by the way, um, I just looked at these on Amazon before I made this video and these have a 10% clippable coupon. It does have a giant sharp sharpening choil up here. So you're gonna be able to sharpen that for days. Very nice looking G10. Look at your little texture vision. Check out that G10. It has, it doesn't really have any palpable feel. You can feel up here where the layers are of that G-Mascus. But I know we have a lot of folks in here that really do enjoy a good, strong fixed blade. Now, the Kydex sheath is always something I pay attention to. The retention on this one is good. I have no complaints about that. And I do, I really do. This is my favorite style of clip. You can clip this to a backpack or to your belt and you can have it any direction that you want to have it. So I like that in this very nice and snappy and palpable. And then you can lock it. See there, you can slide it down right here and then it's locked. Or if you want to open it up, you go like that and then pop it open. So this is the EF-134, and I will have links to all of the knives that you've seen and you're getting ready to see down in the description and in the comment section of this video. Now, let's check out the next one. And keep it in mind, some folks collect knives just for the usefulness, and then other people are like me, and you, you not only like knives for their usefulness, you like something just a little crazy from time to time as a conversation piece or for something fun, and you're like, what? In the world is that. <laughs> this is the Sativian ST160. Zero. It's the ST160. Can you tell what this is going to look like at all by looking at it? It does have a pocket clip. This pocket clip, for all intents and purposes that I can tell, it's inset into the liner over here, and it's a David Chen design, and it's not inset on this side. So I don't believe that it's going to be reversible. Now, this thing back here, I haven't quite figured out what this is. I don't know if that is supposed to be a bottle cap opener. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments, but this does have thumb studs or one thumb stud right here, and then it has a flipper. Are you ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh my gosh. Look at it. <laughs> just look at it. Oh, I wish I had a voice right now. I am just, I'm over the moon. I'm like, it, for one thing, I'm like, what in the world? And then for another thing, I'm like, you know what? That thing is pretty darn cool. This is K110 steel. And if that doesn't look like a giant bird from the Amazon, I don't know what does. This is a fun blade. And you know, I think this is also gonna be a cardboard slicer, a cardboard destroyer. I have a couple other knives that are kind of along these lines with the Hawkbill that really turn out to be great for cardboard because it pulls the cardboard in and it just keeps slicing. Now you could hold it like this, or maybe you could reverse grip it and hold it like this. I'm not even sure how you would hold this knife. I mean, it's just so 
weird. <laughs> I mean, the weirdness factor is kind of cool. And then you can choke up. There's actually enough room up here with this forward choil that you can, you can get in there. And this is, this is a, uh, a what is it, a Ram? I know they're making a different one. It's for the Chinese Zodiac. This is the Ram. You can get in here and choke up. So this could, I could find uses for this. It would definitely find it. Uh, I just, I mean, I mean, which way is up? That's just, uh, I, you know, I, are you going to be doing like this? Pulling, pulling? Um, so somebody tell me, what would you use this knife for? Would you hold it like this and come back? I'm not even sure what you would do with this knife. It's kind of fun. It's very interesting. It's not expensive. I think they're around, there's, uh, they're around like 30, 32 bucks or something like that. But a very interesting and wicked knife you could add to your collection. Now, this knife is not small. It's almost nine inches long. Your sharpen length from here to here is 2.3, or it's two and three quarter inches, 2.75. It weighs 7.65 ounces, another chonker from Sativian. Now I'm going to throw some extras in here. Check this out. This $20 hairs, 20 bucks. This is a through night. This is the through night Thai pro. And it is very cool. These, I mean, for $20 hairs for what you get, I think this is an amazing little EDC light and how bright this thing is, is what blew me away. I had no idea until I started messing with it and I turned it on high and I was like, what in the freaking world? It's only a three inch long flashlight. It has a rechargeable USB-C battery, or it also takes double A's. It's 0.72 in diameter, has a, an aluminum alloy body. It has, it has very nice texture to it. And it's not a, it's not a big flashlight. This is one you can pocket drop. You can take this clip off. The clip comes off relatively easy and you can have this either direction. So you can have the clip facing this way or facing this way. So if you wanted to put this on the bill of your cap, you could turn it around and have it like this if you're doing some night fishing or walking around at night. So I think that is a very cool feature. Now check it out. There's no buttons, nothing like that. This is how you turn it on. You turn it, you turn it once and now you're on 30 lumens. You turn it again, you're on 277 lumens. Turn it again, 1,012 lumens. This right here is, I could feel the heat from my hand from this far. This thing is extremely bright. I'm trying not to look at it right now because I'll be blinded. But each time you twist it, it'll cycle through the different brightnesses. And it's 20 bucks and it's that simple. I think it is very cool for what you get and it's only $20. It's small, doesn't take up a lot of space. And this is definitely one that I will be throwing in a pouch or it will be a pocket dropper. Now check these two things out. These are very cool. And these, these are a uh, titanium, titanium, little super duper lightweight keychain knives. And I, I like them. I think they're pretty cool. If you, if you want to put your keys on here, you, obviously you just twist this and you can have your keys on this and this becomes the keychain or you could put a regular keychain through there, but you could slide this through a belt loop and have this hanging from your belt loop. But it, this is the, I don't know what you call that rainbow. And then this one right here is the classic titanium look. And then check out this cool blade. Swing, a little Tonto action. I think this is very nice. Now, if you just want something small, maybe you know, people at your office, you can't get it, you can't get away with, or you can't carry a regular knife. But if you want something just for regular opening packages or something, I think this is definitely a winner. Check check this out. I think these are very cool. I love gadgets and gizmos like this. This is very cool. And I think if you didn't use it as a keychain, this is something you could just have pocket dropped or in a little pouch or something like that, or in your drawer at work, or even in your drawer at home. So when you get your new packages out, you can use this and, and just open them up. It doesn't lock. It has a slight little clip little kind of snap when it goes up. It's not a hefty snap or a heavy detent or anything like that, but these are very cool. I have, I'll have links to these little things too. And you can hear it when it comes down. It has nice retention. It's not like, it's not floppy. It's not going to come flopping out on you. And this is just a simple untwist and twist to put some keys on there. So you can get one of these and then you get your little uh, flashlight. I think that's pretty cool. Now, speaking of cool, check these out. Now, this is a knife company uh, that I'm not familiar with. They offered to send a couple for me to check out. I was like, well, yeah, send them on down. Um, they come with a nice pouch. They've got the uh, microfiber cloth. And uh, I believe they also make like kitchen and chef knives. So I'm going to be checking them out some more because when I was perusing their website, I was like, oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. Now, these, you can get these on their website or Amazon. Everything on this video, you can get on Amazon. And I just looked before making this video, this, this one right here, the tan and black is 50% off. 
that's that brings this down to like 34 35 doll hairs this is a pretty cool knife so let me give you a little look here a little bit of texture vision it does have some nice texture on that g10 and here's here's another version they sent two different versions you can see that they have i think this is stone washer coated and then this one is going to be the satin look and then here's a look at this side. They do have a deep carry pocket clip. Now this pocket clip has a couple mushrooms going in the shade. The ones you saw earlier don't. There's not a lot of clearance from the bottom of this clip down to those mushrooms. I always call them mushrooms, but they're little screws, round head screws. So there's not a ton of room. It does look like you're gonna be able to get it in your pocket, but you might get into a little snaggage right there depending on how thick your jeans are. So you ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. And wait a minute, hold on. Ah, right in the kisser check that out look at that this is my kind of blade style anytime i have a leaf style blade like this with a tall flat grind i know it's going to have good cutting ability because let's see it's not really thick behind the edge so you're going to have you have good decent geometry and it's a tall full flat grind you do have some jimping up here. It's not the most aggressive jimping. Let's see how it feels on this one. Uh, they both feel about the same. Sometimes you, when you have a coated, it's less aggressive or it's more aggressive one way or the other, depending on if you're coated or not. It is nice looking jimping. This is a liner lock. It, this one has good lock up. And let's see. Our blade is, looks like it's just a hair to the show side. And let's see the, the lock up on this one is good. And then let's see this one is pretty darn close. It looks like this one may also be just a hair to the show side. Now, action-wise, let's check them out. This one's a little more snappy. And then as far as your pass-through, um, it doesn't have a ton of pass-through. You do kind of have to dedicate your thumb in there and push and use a little force. So that's something to keep in mind it, because there's not a ton of room in there. You do have to dedi dedicate. You have to really push your thumb. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It's definitely not a deal breaker. You all know how I feel and what my opinions are on um, whether it's difficult to unlock a knife or not. This one is easier to use. Now, the action is really good. Look at that. And then can we use our thumb? Yeah, you can use your thumb. And then how about this? Can we, oh, there it goes. Reverse flick, baby. You know I love me some reverse flick. Oh yeah. Now if I, if, you know, I think I'm liking this version just for the action and for the sounds and the acoustics just a little bit better just because of how it sounds. Cause you know, I'm a junkie for how it, how the acoustics come across. I'm all about those sounds. Ooh, that one sounds pretty good too. So this is a pretty cool looking knife. These are, these are this one right here I know is 50% off. I'll put links to, to both of them and their website, but I know this one's like half off right now. Nice looking blade, nice looking G10. It's not a reversible clip. Um, it's nice and clean through here. You can see through it. I don't see that there's any milling. So it's a, a just a full liner lock. Pretty cool knife from Shenzhou. I'm Shenzhou? Shenzhou. This is the Peafowl. And I'm curious what else they've got going on. I'm definitely going to be checking them out some more. Next up is another version of one I've shown before. Now, this comes with two different options for your Kydex sheath. By the way, this is the Petrified Fish Beluga Fixed Blade. Would you look at it? I mean, just look at it. It's all blacked out. This is such a good knife. I mean, one of the best knives from Petrified Fish. And this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a full tang. It does have a lanyard hole. This is K110 steel. And there's, I don't know, there's probably a dozen, there's, there's at least 10 different versions and styles. You can get the coated, the non-coated, the stone wash, non-stone wash, very tall, very slicey blade, one of the most comfortable handles in the universe as far as, I mean, there, there, there's no hot spots. It just feels great in the hand. The Kydex sheath, now here's something. It has great retention, and look at this. It has a perfect, that is exactly how, when I have a Kydex sheath, that's how I like to have a thumb ramp. A nice, smooth thumb ramp that your thumb fits in and just launches the knife out. Now, this one comes with the belt loops, but it also comes with this you can have either one on it this is in the box so you get you'll get a sheath you'll get the the, the sheath like this so if you want to put it in your belt or you can add this clip it's the exact same clip that you're seeing right here so that is a major plus that they give you options however you want to carry if you want to carry an appendix carry or you want to put that other one on there that is very very nice now this bad boy 
I think for what it is and what you get for the mid forties, uh, there's nothing, there's no, no complaints at all. This is a fantastic knife. And we've talked about the Beluga many times. There's the Beluga, the mini Beluga, and then the fixed bay Beluga. And you can get my card at G10 and all that. And this is one of the latest versions and I'm very glad I got to share it. And we only have three left. So buckle up buttercup. This one is a the very first for the channel. This is founding forgers comes in a nice package and check this out has a lifetime warranty and you can you can see more information when you uh, click on the link and go check them out here's a uh, there's there's one of those uh, little zappable codes if you want to check that out does come in a nice case now look at this this is the founding forgers folding pocket knife i don't even know that it has a particular uh, name it could have a name but if it does, I apologize to Founding Forgers. I don't know the name or the model number. I will have it linked where you can go check it out. It has D2 steel. Now look at this. This is one of the things I really like about it. This is a rough and tumble. This is one of those ones that you want to take with you when you're working. This is a working knife. It feels like a working knife. It, it feels sturdy. It feels substantial in the hand. And then let me see if I can get you in there. Look at that. Very, very good grip on that G10. So it has grip for days. It has grip this direction, up and down. It has a reversible clip. Now this clip is not super high, but it does work because there's nothing going to snag under your pocket. It's It does have good retention. It doesn't come up very high. So if you have some really thick jeans, you might be snagging on there. It, the, the lip doesn't come up quite that high. So that may or may not be a thing, but I'm telling you, this thing feels so good. Are you ready for this? Pow, right in the kisser. Look at that. Has that nice classic blade shape. This, I'm really digging it. And, and I just got done. Like I said, I looked all these up before I made the video. And this one is 40% off right now. That's what I'm talking about. These you can get for 29 bucks. 29 doll hairs. Is that an eagle? This is pretty cool. It doesn't have a sharpening choil. It is a liner lock. The liner is easy to get to. It's it's a little sh not sharpish, but you know it's not uh, it's not like Cadillac caddy 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 caddy. But it is easy to disengage. It has good lockup. It is very smooth. And then our blade looks like our blade is centered and up top. It's very easy to flick. Has good action. Has a really good detent. Overall, this bad boy is 8.2 inches long. It has a 3.6 inch sharpen length. So this is over three and a half inch sharpened. It's 5.25 ounces. And I really do like it. And by the way, I also have a 10% code to their website. I'm just, it's just a bonanza today. You know what I'm saying? Very nice looking blade. Has a nice looking swedge on top. Coming down, let's see. They do have a couple little holes for milling. I, I feel like if they would have done some more milling work on the liners, it would have taken off a lot of weight. This does, oh man, I'm telling you, this does feel really good in the hand. There are no hot spots. It fits very nicely. If you had an XL hand, this would fit your hand. And you could get these for for 30 bucks, basically 30 bucks right now. I, I, have, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I love the fact that it has a captive pivot. And I, as far as I know, they're a, they're a newer company. This might be the first one they've come out with as far as, wow, I like the action. I like the ergos. I like, I like this. This is pretty nice. Let's see left and right. Uh, left and right, and I'm getting about a one out of 10. I am getting a slight wiggle left and right. So it feels like it may need tightened up. Up and down, no movement. So that is very cool. Founding Forgers. Next up, we have the EF-126. Would you look at it? Just look at it, all of its EF-ness. Now this one, another Kydex sheath, has that really nice clip on it. But I do have a nitpick with this one in particular. I'll tell you about that here in just a second. Not the knife itself. I think the knife looks really cool. That This is 8.6 inches long. It has a four inch blade. It has 14C28N blade steel. How about that? Now here's something that I would have to say with Evengro EF knives. Sometimes I'll get this. Now this right here, the handle is not tightened all the way down. So that is something that they need to watch out for in their quality control. So these are not completely tight. So that would be a want want. Besides that, they, it feels very nice in the hand. I like the looks of it. I just don't think that I should have to tighten the handles. Now, here's another thing about this knife in particular, this sheath. Here's your blade retention on the EF-126. It, it doesn't have any retention. This knife will fall out 
it will fall out if you have it upside down. Now, if you are wearing this vertically, it's not, it's not gonna pop out. It's not like that bad, but you can see that it's, it's not getting a palpable click. I tried to tighten this and that's not what was doing it. So it's just it's the way this particular one was molded. So the sheath on this particular one, doesn't keep it in and then the handles need tightened and the, I don't even know exactly how you tighten that unless you use probably a flathead screwdriver. All in all, I like the knife itself and it does have very aggressive jimpy and I like the looks of this blade. I really like that blade style, but that's the EF-126. And now let's get the last one, which looks very cool. Now this one is a step up as far as EF knives. This one's not in the same class as the last one we just looked at. This is the EF140, the EF140. Now this one has good retention. See there? And this one also has the really nice clip. This is a sweet looking fixie. Oh yeah, look at that, EF140. This one has Austin steel. Has, oh, I love the looks of that blade. This blade is wicked. It has, it's 4.6 inches. It's almost a five inch sharpen length. It weighs 10 ounces, 10.2 ounces. These are 10, uh, there's a 10% promo code on these right now too. You have plenty of room for sharpening. Here's a look at your G10 handles. And they do have very, th this texturing right here, it's not gonna come out of your hand. And it's very comfortable. I mean, very comfortable. You you just want to stick this in a log when you have this in your hand. This one, I dig it. I like it. It feels very good. And look at this. They even crowned the spine of this bad boy, which I think that is very cool. And this knife itself is just a hair under 10 inches long. So if you want a very nice looking fixie and you, you want to add a fixed blade to your collection, I think this is a pretty good one. This one's gonna run you, it's under 50 bucks. It's like 40 something dollars and then there's 10% off. So there you go. There is a bunch of knives and a little bit of gear that you can get on Amazon and I'll have links if you wanna go check them out. And I am curious, what is your favorite out of all of these, out of the bunch? Is it one of the fixed blades? Is it one of the, the, the flippy knives? Is this, this crazy toucan? wild eagle claw, dinosaur claw looking knife? Or are you liking one like this? Are you liking one of these? Or do you like the fact that some of these are such a good deal with good blade steel and good action? I mean, you know, I'm a knife nut. I know you're knife nuts. Let me hear all about it. Definitely leave a comment. And if you like videos like these, leave me a thumbs up. Give it a big old thumbs up. That helps support the channel. Tell me what you think. And then go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or in the hive stream on Friday night, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.